Hey there, this is Sierra from Live Culture. This is Santa Barbara's Block by Block. doing here is bringing culture and art and music back to Santa Barbara where I grew up. I'm Darren Victor and this is Sierra Falso and we have another partner named Rebecca Claridge who was a friend of mine that I hadn't seen in 15 years. She thought about a frozen yogurt shop as a, as a kind of a joke. She had some fantasy as a child that she wanted a frozen yogurt shop and she brought it up on some warm March night and we were walking right through here. So I said I believed in it. Becca's really good at the books. She's really good at the commercial real estate side. And then we walked by here that same night and saw Pierre Lafon was closed. It's probably closed down for about six months. And that turned into a concept that was just born out of a conversation on a phone call about a yogurt shop. And all of a sudden it was, oh, we could do everything we love in one spot. Art, food, music, wine, frozen yogurt, espresso, and community. Hey guys, welcome to Live Culture. You guys have a good happy holiday. Weekend so far. Okay. We're glad you have a good one because of all the singer songwriters we have. Enjoy all three guys. This is live culture. Being a musician in this town for the last 12 years or so, and always being a lover of music before that, I thought, you know, what a great place to have my own band to play on top of supporting musicians in this town that don't have a place to play. So this is called live culture for a reason. It's live music and keeping it live, meaning it's always changing, it's always energetic, it's live. And now we have bands from all over the country. We have had some European bands stop by on tours, the West Coast tours. It's definitely born out of a love for music, I think is the main point, and then bringing that back to this town. It's an amazing experience for not only the musicians, but for Santa Barbara to see this type of talent come through it literally every day we have live music for free with no cover and that does allow anybody that's stopping by to get a to see a movie or a glass of wine they don't have to pay a cover people just want to get in and out sometimes other times they're coming to see the bands we have a music appreciation tree and that, all the tips and everything go towards that it's a glorified tip jar we're trying to, to help Santa Barbara and the arts grow like it used to be concept of live culture really really spurred on, on completely a whim. The concept developed over a few weeks time and it's really congealed into a, a really cool cultural experience that um, you know we get Europeans here all the time who say you know that we feel like we're at home and, and that's to me the best compliment of it. it's really nice to have something that really appeals to a, a, a world market. Roger Pepper and how to tell you split. Our menu primarily developed based on a European feel with the salamaria plate and the cheese plates and the paninis. And uh, what's really nice about our menu is we don't have any restrictions on uh, what we can serve. We can really do seasonal menu um, items, which is a lot of fun. Our staff and our cooks, we give them creative license to do whatever they want to do to make it special, make it feel like it's theirs, and give them the, the feeling of some power within the business that they have. Um, something to give back to the business and back to the community as well. Not only are known as a music venue, but we're known for probably the largest wine bar by the glass that I've ever seen. It's plenty for people to choose. There's free wine tasting uh, every day, all day, and I want you to get what you want. And sometimes people come in and they don't really know what they want, or they think they do, and then we do this free tasting. And through that tasting, we just got a wine and beer tap system. It's all in one. All, you know, a lot of California wines are readily drinkable right off the bat. Um, they don't need to sit in a bottle. People are concerned about being eco-friendly, so there's no bottle, there's no cork. The way it comes out of the barrel that day, they put it in the steel keg. It's going to taste exactly like the day it came out of there, and it will last for months. I think it's important to be eco-friendly in this town and save the environment. Again, no glass, no cork. It's been, it's been a great success. Well, after your movie, come on over because there's going to be live music and it's a lot of fun. You can come, have a glass of wine, and they, you know, they're like, well, you know, I think, I think we have time for a glass of wine. So we're, gonna get, we're like, okay, come on in. And guess what? They usually end up missing their movie and they end up here for four or five hours and they're like, we're going to see the movie next week. <laughs> that's, that's always a victory to us. <laughs> 